Corey Trepanier's Into the Arctic Video Journals. Brought to you in part by Eureka for Life Outdoors. And by Merrill. Let's get outside. Can you grab this one, hun? Please. There we are. I know where it is. Okay. Just dump it out. But... Ow. Is tight? Yeah. Ow? Or does it hurt? We don't want to Will you punch me in the stomach? <laughs> What's the hardest part, Sid? Walking. Walking, but you run around all day long. How can this be hard for you? Because she has something she has to do. It's not jumping up and down and playing. Let's take her. It's a little chilly now, eh? Hey, lead the way. Slow. Better walk for a little while on that and we'll see if we need to tighten them up some more, okay? Get these tightened up nice in here. We spent the whole afternoon. We left about 2.30 and it's about 8.30 now hiking. By those last mountains, but every hill we came to we thought it was the last one. So finally we just turned around. The girls were pretty tired and it was a very long hike for our first hike. We kind of overdid it, but uh, we're about halfway back now. And uh, it does stay light here for a very long time, so we'll be tired and hungry when we get back. <laughs> I wish we'd have brought the tent. We could just stay there for the night, just keep going. We didn't even get to see the lake. The mountains are just awesome. Like we're surrounded by mountains. There is the road back home. Yeah. We didn't take the road here, but we're taking the road back home. That's for sure. <laughs> We've made it back from the big hike. Didn't get any painting done, though I got all my gear in there. It's just such a spectacular hike. So we want to keep on going and going. And uh, now we're making our way back down the hill, taking the road instead of uh, the bush trail that we took before. Looking forward to a good hearty meal. And I think the girls are gonna sleep really good tonight. Spectacular, spectacular country. Very, very blessed to be able to walk through this incredible region.